The Civil Air Patrol has been always vigilant for America since 1941, and this year the country celebrates CAP's 75th anniversary and wants to encourage the youth to perform Missions for America. And here to tell us all about his involvement and to ask for yours is First Lieutenant Bob Dubala. Good morning, Bob. Good morning. How are you? I am very well. So nice to have you here. You have worn many hats. Tell us about your uh, involvement with the Civil Air Patrol. Well, I've, uh, I, I was a cadet back in the 70s. Um, left the cadet program probably a little bit too soon and um, actually got back involved in the uh, early 2000s. And we are celebrating, as I alluded to, a, a huge anniversary, 75 years. Talk about that celebration and what's really going on within the organization. It's a remarkable feat. Well, 75 years of performing missions for America. Uh, we have a great history. Um, uh, you know, we, uh, we pride ourselves on our cadet programs, um, which is the foundation of the, of, of the cadet uh, programs. It's aerospace education. Uh, fitness, character, and uh, aerospace. You really are going to make sure that these uh, young people who get involved with you become well-rounded individuals. Talk about the recruitment process and the fact that you right now are looking for fresh cadets, aren't, aren't you, as you, as you uh, mentioned? Yes, we are looking actually for fresh cadets and for senior members as well. There's a great need for the uh, senior membership and the senior leadership and mentorship, um, but we're also looking for cadets, of course. We uh, just had an open house in uh, West Bay, the West Bay Squadron. Uh, that just was very successful and um, we're going to be having one this Thursday at um, the uh, Smithfield VFW. So what is the actual process like? If someone shows up they want to be a part of this, what, is the, what, are, what are the steps that they actually have to go through? Well, they actually attend. We, we, we recommend uh, two or three meetings at minimum. Uh, you know, see if the Civil Air Patrol is a fit for you and for us. I mean, because it's, you know, it's not something that you, you think about. You want to see how they actually react and how they fit in the program. Exactly. So is there sort of like a one-on-one -on -one assessment? Is it a group thing? How does it work? Well, it's a group, it's a group thing, uh, you know, where they're invited to activities and to actually see what, the, what, what, what we do. That's what it's really all about, to get that education. And talk about, speaking of education, as it says here, the aerospace education programs. This sounds really cool. That's correct. Um, again, uh, we're mandated by Congress with uh, three missions, uh, aerospace education, uh, which is for our members and for the community at large, uh, cadet programs and emergency services. Well, it's great stuff, and we can't thank you enough for joining us here today. Did I, uh, did I earn my interview wings here with you? Uh, maybe a half a wing. Half a wing. I'll take it. Thanks, Brandon, Bob. My pleasure. Great to have you here with us this morning to share this story and to honor, of course, the men and women of the Civil Air Patrol. If you would like to learn more, find out how you can be involved, just head on over to roadshow.com.